and pray we get to Maggers. Maggers pretty much have no changes. <laughs> right. New elite step lances. Yeah, elite step lances have plus one armor now, or pierce armor. So they, I feel like they can be a l like very viable now in the Imperial Aug. But obviously I need to try it out to know. I guess don't need any changes. I don't disagree with that. I think they literally had zero changes, right? I'm not even sure if they get Gambsons. Not that Magras are likely to ever make champions anyway. What do you think of the new gods? I don't think it changes too much. Obviously they get a bit better eco. So maybe they survive early game better and can make it to the stage where they shine. But like on the surface... Why am I going forward lumber camp when I have... Okay, that's fine. But on the surface I don't think it's like suddenly... Oh, suddenly monk gods are OP or anything like that. I haven't played them yet though. So maybe I'm giving the 20% extra hunt. Less credit than it deserves. But yeah, okay, we have easy wall here. Easy wall. And plug this as well. And we can play around the front because our berries are on the front. Got survive five minutes more now. <laughs> Instead of resigning at minute 22, you now resign only at minute 27. That's the new goth buff. I said goth scout. For oh yeah, that's that's for sure. Like, just imagine you have like, let's say you have three deer. That's 140. Let's say you get 110, 120 food from each deer. Uh, and then you have the boars, which is like six and uh, you probably have like another 200 extra food maybe from hunt, right? So when you think about it, it is probably pretty solid. Of course, you have to spend the villager time collecting it. So there is that. But yeah, on pay it sounds like it should be a really good food bonus. You also get cheaper spearmen, yep. Well, they have cheaper every every infantry. Miguel is playing Khmer. I think I'm just gonna open scouts. Khmer don't really have changes either. I mean, ballista elephants are slightly worse. Or have more vulnerabilities, rather. Besides that, not much has changed. Can wait to see you guys compete in King of the Desert. Uh, I gotta qualify first. I have a surgery two days before the qualifiers. So let's hope I can... We make it. I think it's gonna work out. Hopefully. Do I have the food to pick up? Yes, we do. Do I play double lumber camp or single? Let's go double. You know about Sergio, all the best for your recovery, you got this. Thank you. Yeah, I'm removing my gallstones. I'm on paper too young to should have to remove my gallstones, but after an ultrasound, they determined that I have a chronic inflammation on my gallbladder and I have to have it removed. Uh, if I can do the stable there, that would be nice. Just in case. Again. 
Send a scout home. What in the hell? I mean, I have forging on my units. On paper, I think this is fine for me. I'm an expert rusher now. For all my rage forest training. Did I do Bidax? I did not. Let's do it. Valhalla! Who Valhalla? Stop hiding in houses, man. Man up. I don't have any food. Food is overrated anyway. Could have just towered up. That would have made a lot of sense. I don't like how I dealt with this. Because I, I sacrificed a lot of food equal to take care of it. Not the tower. Not a great start. Not kid ourselves. Mm, if I can afford fletching, I can start micro with my skirms. I don't expect him to have fletching. We have fletching now. Do we? Yeah, we do. Live! He doesn't have fletching, but he has micro, which I'm not utilizing. Can I trap him? Cannot. I don't know where those villages are, but I feel like they're behind my base, building something somewhere. I think I'm going to add a blind stable. 
I feel like he's probably adding a stable. Uh, why they don't shoot? Maybe it's just fast casting, no? Is there a sneaky stable behind my base? I feel like there is. He's still making skirms. Where did his villagers go? Oh yeah, he blocked his um, spears. Hey, I'll kill <laughs> oh, I still have skirms there. This is a mess. These are scouts are cheaper. There's a stable. Hello, villagers. Nice to meet you. Oh boy. That's going to be hard to deal with. That is going to be very hard to deal with. We need to add a lot of spears now. Yeah, let's see. Get him! Get him! I have some low HP bills on my on my woodland uh, farming area, actually. We kind of don't want to deal with. This will be a potentially interesting game. You can afford something like scorpions in addition to this. I would be in big trouble. You're already kind of in, in a bit of trouble. Don't get me wrong. That house feels extremely weak. This equal home though is quite vulnerable. If I can get bloodlines and 
We can get all of these bad boys home. Bloodlands and then go counterattack. One cheeky cow archer. A cheeky bastard. We have bloodlines now. Oh, it's open, it's open, it's open. Don't notice, don't notice, don't notice. You noticed. Try to get a market. He's sending knights home to defend. Uh, let's try to get Castle Age. It feels a bit risky, but why don't we plug this as well? We did some solid counter damage. Looks like he maybe did a market and sold his stone. No, he built a four tower. Never mind, of course. It's also good damage. He can just hide in houses. Yeah, we'll probably lose that one now. But we are up. Just ate it all. Well, that I don't mind. By all means, be my guest. Why are you coming back? We have horse color as well. Feels like he is trying to set up for where he can just take a fight. My the back side of my base being exposed is obviously still a bit uncomfortable. You can debate him away there. Mm. Yeah, they're super low HP. Yeah, we did debate that away. Yeah, they're not that low HP <laughs> that I want to fight, apparently. Mm -hmm. hmm. Do I go triple stable? His equal has to be in a little bit of mess as well. Pikeman is cheaper now, so let's do that. healing up. Yeah, it is good that we have Pikeman alive. We can send the knights to counterattack as well. Let's go husbandry, monastery, start adding town centers. I'm gonna heal those up. If I take the hill here, we can take a fight. Where is his army? Okay, there is his army. I'm trying to find some monks. Yeah. 
építkezni. Szóval előre! Igen, That's fine. We're getting enough value everywhere else. Oh no! Do I not have a monk? Oh, there it is. Yeah, we're getting more than enough value with these, I think. Now it's more about getting our units or our economy in order. Fix the idols. We have pikemen sorted. Where are my monks? Get both the monks here. Heal those up. Knights can move out. Woodland will overchop soon, but I would like to get enough stone to add more towns. He's adding teases as well, so funnily enough, this is turning into a macro game. <laughs> Given how this, this played out in the start, I did not expect it to get to this point. To be that honest. There. Means he probably has monks in the area as well. Oh, I can fish! <gasps> I never noticed, but I can fish! You have crazy fishing opportunities there. I might have to convert fat. Uh, okay, he didn't get one. Good stuff. No, not my light cap. Oops. Oops. That was a bad moment for me. I really wonder what the economic situation is like. I think that was a good fight for me. Getting a second monastery. Let's just add more things. He's trying to force the issue. I don't think he has enough to, you know, force the issue. <laughs> Siege workshop as well. Oh, I cannot get that one. I would like another stable. And there's a relic. I drop a castle as well. Should be fine. Thank you. Where do I get a, a castle on this hill? Will be sweet. 
Might actually trigger him to attack. Let's see. I wonder if he might see the opportunity to click up, even. It's Khmer, it's like you idle a little bit and then bam, you're in. One or two bills. Maybe I go in. Now that I think about it. Let's go in. Oh, he wants to drop a castle there himself. Think. Guess who don't doesn't want him to do that. There's a relic up there as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we cannot pick up that relic on top then. I'm gonna spam light cap to raid initially. <gasps> Heavy blow! Pain in my soul. Castle there will be also sweet. There's about to be a lot going on. I think he's gonna come and try and raid me there. There's the imp. We, uh, he managed to garrison this monk. to shut that one up. I think we're gonna let that castle go. With the idea that we're just gonna remake on this side. What? I lost this? I'm not sure I was winning this fight. I thought I was winning. concern I have right now is we can actually send units into my economy. I do have three relics though. 140 bills? Not too shabby. Did 
just have to make sure he cannot raid me too badly. Because I think his equal is in shambles. So he's going to have to commit soon inside my base. He's taking out town centers. I'm fine with that. I'm not relying on these TCs anymore. have to max out I can go for one counter push go cast in our base can I afford pikeman probably I can once I have pikeman I think I'm ready to attack I don't think he can then deal with this. I have. I'm probably just gonna have to take the L in terms of hill advantage, or hill disadvantage rather. Now he's coming to raid, but now I have a castle. gonna be game. Just in case, I'm gonna prepare ranges in case I have to add cow vouchers. I don't think I'm gonna have to. GG. Why don't we see why don't we see Arbless with Magras if they can't make cow vouchers? Well in this case I couldn't make because I couldn't I didn't have gold anyway. But uh what's it called? Arbalest, it's like with Magars, you have so such good cav archers that I don't think there is a world where you rather want to have Arbalest. The only argument I would ever make for going Arbalest, what's the word? Yeah, going Arbalest is if you have, first of all, leftover archers from Feudalage where you do cav archers. Secondly, left, no, let me rephrase. First of all, leftover archers from Feudalage where you want to upgrade crossbow. And then leftover crossbow into Imperial Age. Let's say you hit imp with 30 crossbow. Yes, you definitely want to do Arbalest. But in most other scenarios, you're always going to be wanting to switch to couches because your couches are just probably the best couches in the game. Yo, Ben Spielstead. Thank you very much for the one year and six months. Very, very kind. We had Berend Langenberg as well with seven months. Very kind. Very, very kind. Nice defend. It was a nice game. It was a tough one. The forward, I think he pulled quite ahead there. Where's his market? Did he have a market? I'm not sure if he used market to go to Castledge or if it was just Khmer things. I don't see a market, so probably he just it was just Khmer things. Where he went to the Castledge and... Yeah, but I think we did the right reactions. We made Pike Spears at home, because still he is, in quotes, low eco. How did you know you could survive feudal while he got the cast early? Because when you push castlage that fast with that, with the opening like skirm, spearman, and then that fast of a castlage as well, your eco isn't the smoothest, and you can assume that it's unlikely that there's double stable production. If there is, there's only going to be one or two cycles. Even that's unlikely. So by making spearman from the get go, you can build up the numbers. Still, you're, I'm, so, I'm sort of walled, like my wood lines are walled, uh, so you cannot do damage everywhere. And then I just used the uh, light cav or a ca scout cavalry with bloodlines to counterattack and get some damage. So by the time I hit Castledge, most likely I would have caught up in economy or be, or be ahead in economy. The only thing I think I would have struggled with is if he added Scorpion super early as well. But again, his eco was quite stretched thin already, probably with that Castledge. I was 30 minutes cast late, yikes. Yeah, we needed those. If we didn't get any damage with our counterattacks, then, then we would have been in trouble. When you had cast, I had exactly the same pop. Nice. 